Chief Smith. A man from the prison would like to speak to you. He has a guard who was on duty two months ago. Great. Send Detective King in. Thank you. It's been two months. I hope this works. Come in. What's the word, Chief? I'm sure you've heard about that escaped convict case. Yeah, Hart got out, right? That's right. Does this mean what I think it means? Yes, it does. Boris, Governor Bumpley, you in here? Gentlemen, I didn't expect you to be here. You caught us. Oh, um, uh, um, oh yeah, yeah. So, we were hosting a gala to commemorate the 15th anniversary of the state, and because you guys are local celebrities, I thought it'd be a great idea, you know, a good PR move, to have you guys involved with it. Yeah, okay, we can do that. Oh, definitely. But, so what's the case? What's the deal with this escape convict case? All right. How do you know about that? That's not public yet. There's a... It's all on the news. Well, there's a little information leak, I guess, from some department. Um, we really need to look into that. Yeah, we do. Okay. Thanks for letting us know about that. Oh, uh, yes, yes, gentlemen. But remember... 4 p.m. Tuesday. Don't forget it. All right. See you then. They gone yet? Oh yes, and thank God they are, because they ask so many questions. Leaked from the police department, we have now learned that an escaped convict by the name Cameron Hart has been out of prison since April. We asked the sheriff and commissioner to speak about it, but both refused to comment. Gentlemen, looks like something important's going on. Uh, Brody? You idiot, that was private information you leaked. I have you know, I had a gun to my head while posting it online. Who was threatening you? A man in a mask. Around what time? Uh, noon. Do you think it's the same one we arrested yesterday? I hope not. Who did we arrest? We arrested a man yesterday around 11. He was wearing a mask, but he got away. Do you think you know who it was who was wearing the mask? No, but honestly, I think it could have been someone from the force. How else would he have gotten the file? The file? No, 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 no. The file was in my desk and the door was locked. So do you think they could have made a copy or stolen it by breaking in? They couldn't have broken in and they don't make copies until the investigation's gone public. Hmm. You know, that masked man kind of sounds like Officer Matthews. Don't be wasting our time. He's been dead for two months. Hey, are you okay? No, uh, my bar burned down. What'd you pick up? Uh, this is an old tape. What does it say on it? Uh, April 14th, 2034, 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. Wait, that's the missing tape. 
Uh, where's Chad? Oh, Chad called in sick today. You know, I have an idea, but after we watch the tape, I'll explain it to you. Okay. So about your idea, it's crazy. I know. Do you think it could be true? I hate to say this, but yes, I do. So, are we going to stop him? I see no other choice. Well, darling, would you like some ginger ale? Yes, ma'am. This is a great party. I know. And pour yourself a glass, darling. I sure will. And for you? Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, I love your hair. Thank you. I love yours. Well, it's a little rough. What a divine sense. Mm -hmm. uh. Here, madam. Thank you. Ladies, gentlemen, my darling wife, we are gathered here today, as you know, to celebrate the city of Portland and the state of Californington. Fifteen years of prosperous and graceful activity. God bless us. But we are not only here today to celebrate the state, but we are also here to mourn the loss of our comrade Brody. Brody was a local celebrity. He was a man of few words, but a lot of words. He was a wise man. So, to the celebrities and to the state of California, cheers. To Brody. Brody. To Brody. Chad. Chad. As you know, I was with Brody when he died. God rest his soul. Love the man. He was like a brother to me, but... And that bar owner showed up to my house. Then us, middle of the night. Found that a little weird. Maybe it's because I did break Cameron Hart out of prison. I did put Lawrence to gunpoint to get him to leak some information out. Oh, actually, that was my lovely accomplice over here. No, no, boyfriend. no, no. She's what? been with me since the beginning. Where's your hair? <laughs> That's my secretary. She's not a secretary. <laughs> No way. She's very bad at secretary work. No offense. <laughs> but what? What is happening? I may have burned down Lawrence's bar. Well, what? And I may have killed Brody Smith. Just <laughs> know. Let's play a game. Find yeah. out what's next. <laughs> no. I wish I could have been there sooner. It wasn't your fault, believe me. It wasn't your fault either, Governor. Did they ever find Chad's body? I don't think so. I don't think they ever will. You let him live? I didn't have the heart to kill him. That's the difference between me and Chad. Given the chance, I would have been in one of those caskets. Like Brody, like April, like Steven. Well, I'm glad you didn't.